Damn, look at that hit face. Uh, let's see. All right, boom, and got uh, three new weapons. Of course, I choose the game as well. Okay, we are back with another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be making a item asylum slash random rumble type of game, or basically system. And basically, the idea of this is whenever you, it's a round system, a round based game where whenever a player respawns, now it's not elimination, it's free for all. But every time you respawn in a round, you get a set of like random items or random weapons, I should say. So let's say you have all these weapons right here. And you want every um, player, when they respawn or when they teleport to a round, you want them to have a set of, like, for example, three random weapons. Or it could be four, five, etc. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Now, first, we're going to have all of our, of our weapons. Of course, I'm not going to, I'm not a good uh, scripter in terms of weapons. So obviously, I'm not going to show you how to script weapons. But if you do have your weapons, this is what you came for. So we have all these weapons. Let's put them into uh, replicator storage, but first let's make a folder called weapons. Uh, oops, folder. Insert it, and then we call this folder weapons. Oh, weapons. Okay, let's put all of our weapons here. And actually, before I do that, let me show you what we have first. So for our round system, this is our basic round system. I made multiple videos on this before, but basically, what you want to have is have this main script, which uh, which is the basic round system script. Except I modified it just for the uh, this video since it's a random rumble game. Now the main um the main um, round system tutorial I made was more based on the elimination of the player, so they won't respond in the round. So I modified this a little bit just so it fits with the game which is the player respawning inside the round rather than staying in the lobby because that's kind of the point of the random marble slash item asylum game anyways on our workspace, uh, on our work, workspace uh, now I'm going to put this all in the model so you don't have to worry about where you put uh, uh, all of these so lobby spawn is where the player will spawn uh, after the end of each round right uh, the map doesn't really matter it's just the map and then the spawns uh, within the map so you might want to put this inside the map, but for now we're going to put this under the workspace. This so we can um, index it easier, just for you know simplicity, I guess you can say. So these are all the spawns the player will, uh, like any player can spawn into. You can duplicate them if you want, like this. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the workspace. Uh, we have the replica store. We have the in round instead. Of, this is basically essential for the round system again. In round is a build value detects whether or not the round started or, or the round is or the game is currently in a round or not. For example, if it's in the if it's in the lobby, the in round value would be false. So that means there's no round currently uh, taking place. And status is whatever as you can see here the GUI the label. This will be the status. This is what we're we'll using. Uh, then yeah, of course, this is status. So this is a text label. L say for example how many seconds left until a game ends or how many seconds left until a game will start uh, that's basically this local stuff is very simple and lastly i think there's uh two teams so lobby and playing lobby will do uh players in the lobby and then the playing will be the players in the playing uh or players in the round i guess you say um but right now i'm not sure it's f if it's really essential um but I'll just keep it in here just in case you know whatever so i think that's all now let's go to a script. Let's go into the script. Uh, no, I don't want to explain this, but whatever. So let's say we have all these variables, but let's go down to the main um, function. Now, I just want to explain this just in case people might get confused and get errors or uh, whatever. So local function round. Uh, this is the what makes the round function. So we make a while true do loop. The reason why we do this is because we want the rounds uh, to continue forever. The round system to continue forever. That's why I do what I have to do. And then, when the first the server first starts, or when this function first starts, the in round that value is going to be false, meaning everyone's going to start in the lobby at first, right? Then we're going to count down. This is why we use the for i loop. We count down in seconds. And uh, now this is just for in case there are there's a player in the lobby that happens to have weapons. So you want to remove uh, weapons from a player in case they have it because. Th there were some bugs when I made this, um, but yeah, this is built in. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. 
um, and then when the countdown ends you want to start the round so in round the value is true then we count down for the round to end now usually the round length would be bigger so if you want to change these or change the intermission length it's literally on right here so intermission is 10 seconds round length is 25 seconds all right so count down and yeah that's pretty much it um you actually uh, what i had before is i count i made a, a checker so i made it so as you can see this table here we're not we're not using this because it's not really an, an elimination round it's basically like this round free for all team death match well not team death match, but it's free for all but it's not elimination so we don't really use this um so really ignore that and this pretty much loops every single time a round ends so when the round ends this will start all over again and yeah and this is when the written round of values change we teleport all the players uh if it's either in the round or in the lobbies or we teleport them into the map or into the lobby those are the two cases cases for the round so actually oops this closes let's go to the first part right here so like right in the beginning so we're going to make our pick weapons function so what are we going to pick weapons we're going to pick three for example we're going to pick three rounds because we're going to choose uh three weapons so we're going to we're going to do that by making a variable do max weapons equal three and then we make a variable for the weapons folder right here uh, weapons equal game dot replicate to storage dot weapons. All right, I think that's it. And we might to make a remote, but we're gonna make that after, so we don't have to worry about that right now. But we're gonna make a function. So local function pick weapons. Can't spell. Oh god. Uh, this is gonna be our function for choosing weapons for each player after they respawn or when they're in the round. So first thing we want to, I think we need to, yeah, it's for our loop. So we're gonna loop three times because we want to give uh, the player three different weapons. Now you can make four, but you just have to change this variable right here. So we're gonna do four I max weapons. Four I equals one max weapons, which is three, one, two. And then we can do while to do. The reason why we do while to do is so we want to check uh, whether or not the player already has the weapon. So like you want you don't want to choose uh, a weapon more the same weapon more than twice or more than once I should say. You want to choose one different weapon for each loop. So we want to choose three in total, and each of them we want to be different. We don't want the same duplicate item, right? So what we want to do is make a local rand. So local rand is random is a random number. So math dot random not red one number of weapons get children so weapons get children just means the amount of uh, children inside weapons so all of these items so the number of them is like how much one two three four five six seven so this will be like seven so one two seven <clears throat> which was a random amount from one to seven and the reason why I do number of weapons that get children because you you're eventually going to be adding more so you don't want to hard code everything while you know or you don't want to hard code this right anyways local rand weapon is we choose a random weapon using the random number which won't which is one from one to seven equals weapons got weapons get children and then square brackets rand so we have the where a random number which is from one to seven then we can choose a random weapon from weapons got uh from weapons get children so we have we have the the children of weapons which are all the weapons inside this folder and we choose a random index which is from the random number so let's say we choose the random number is four we choose the fourth index so one two three four or maybe we choose six one two three four five six it's going to be the rocket launcher so this is how the random uh, thing works. Now we want to make it. We want to check if the player already has the item because we don't want the same item in the uh, same uh, item in the player's inventory, right? You only want one item per slot, and it has to be different, right? So if not player, uh, if not player, actually we're supposed to put a parameter here, so player, so we can know. And we're gonna pass it, so you don't have to worry about that. So if player, the backpack. 
backpack. Fine for child. I think you don't need fine for child. I think you just do the square back or whatever. Fine for child. Uh, Rand weapon, that name. Then. Rand weapon clone. Dot parent equals player. Player dot backpack. Now what we did here is make an estimate. You only have to, you only really need to make one, and we want to check if the player doesn't already have this in their inventory. Then we can do it. Otherwise, it will just actually keep looping until the find uh, until the game finds a uh, new weapon that the player doesn't have, and that's pretty much it. I think that should be it for this uh, function. Now when we're done this, we can actually call this when we teleport the players to the round. So this is the first instance where we, the player is going to have three random items. So when the player is teleported to the map, we're going to do pick weapons function and we're going to inside these brackets we're going to put player because that's what we're going to that's the player that we want to choose the random weapons for. Okay, now we're done the first part. We're done um, the part where we choose random weapons for the player as soon as they get teleported to the round. But what if the player responds? So for that we're gonna actually make uh, we're going on character uh, start a character script. So on start player start a character script. Let's put a local script just so we can have a remote event for it. And this script is well, the reason why I put it under character script. So if it's in character scripts, the uh, the script itself is in the character, meaning it'll actually uh, the script will actually run every time a player responds. So that's the neat thing about it. So we're gonna do local car equals script up here, which is the character of the player local player equals script uh, car actually get the players uh, get player from character car and then local remote actually let's make a remote first so on replicate storage go on get a remote event this will be pick weapons local remote equal game that replicated storage dot pick weapons um, that's actually wrong spelling but whatever okay now what we can do is remote or well, actually one more statement is if the player is in the, is in the round of course we don't want this to fire when they're in the lobby so if player dot team dot name equals playing and then, and oh, this is actually capital. Then we can fire the remote event. And this is a remote event we want to use to pick weapons for the player. Oh, okay, what the hell? I'm being so remote fire server. Uh, fire server. And I think you don't have to put any parameters for this one. So now I want to have, I want to go here, local function. So actually, this remote, we already actually need. Yeah, we got the remote. So remote. Uh, on server event connect function. And then we just do the same exact function that we just made. Pick weapons. Player. And actually, the player is supposed to be here too. So without the parameter, we get the access to the player. And then we use. Do call the pick weapons fun. And this happens every time uh, the player responds. So let's see how this works. I think I did. I think I did everything right. Oh, and lastly, uh, when you want to, the players to respond back in the map, right? You want to make uh, spawns. So I have spawns right here. Okay. Now I want to make sure that one, the team, the playing team right here. So this is the team we're gonna assign to whenever the round starts. So this is the, the team for the players that are playing in the round, right? And we know it's the team color. You can change this to anything, but you have to make sure so that the playing team has to have auto assignable off and the team color, you can choose anything. But you have to make sure that when you make the spawns, you wanna set the team color to the same team color of the playing team right here, which is just navy blue. Oops, what the, what the hell? Okay. Um, you want to turn neutral off so you don't have people spawning in, right? Uh, 
from nowhere or people like spawning in like indiscriminately uh, then you might want to change this brick wall, I'm not sure you might, but I'm not sure I don't think so you should yeah, but just in case, I don't know okay and I think that's really it, so make sure the team kill that's most importantly and yeah so I think you can, after, after that point, you can really just duplicate these and then the player will spawn in these spawns after they die whatever now you also want to make sure, if you have a spawn in the lobby so if you spawn in the lobby, uh, make sure that this is also the same team color as a, the lobby team so the lobby team make sure this is also, so instead of medium stone, stone gray, you want to make it the fossil which is the same as the lobby team color and might also want to change the bird color I'm not sure if that really matters but why not, just in case and yeah, let's test this out now, the reason why I did this is because so many people asked me a question for that so, I might as well just clarify that, you know anyways, let's test this let's see how this works okay, hopefully it won't break randomly hmm, let's see, so the game will start soon? alright oh, wait, hold on, I just forgot uh, one terrible mistake, okay now I forgot one stupid mistake. Uh, okay, yeah. So that didn't work. The reason why it didn't work is because I'm so stupid. When you get the edge you you're actually supposed to break. So this breaks out of the while loop. And I'm stupid enough to not do that because uh, I guess I forget. But whatever. Make sure you break because you don't want the while loop to go on forever. Otherwise, it will pretty much crash because it's going on forever, you know. Um, so you want to break every time this loops. And then it'll go to the next slot the next loop for the for loop until it hits three and you can change this wherever you want so you can change this five if you want this is the max weapons all right so hopefully this works <laughs> oh God, so dumb uh let's see okay no errors all right boom so you have the travel and the rocket launcher and then the this paintball thingy. So let's die. Let's see what other weapons we'll get. So let's wait till you spawn. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Okay, well I'm done. Um, actually, one thing, one thing, a thing I also forgot for some reason. Uh, turn the neutral to off. Sorry. Oh my god. Okay, turn neutral to off. So this is now. If you turn this neutral off, you also want to make sure the team color is also fossil, which is the same team color as the lobby. Uh, so the people in the lobby, which is already auto assignable, uh, the player will spawn there, not in the lobby. But I don't really think that matters because it's a like random rumble. It's, it's item silent. It doesn't really matter, um, unless you're making a different type of game. But whatever. Okay, let's hope this works 100% this time. All right, let's see. Let's look at that. Back. Uh, okay, boom, boom, okay. So these are pretty cool. That was so loud, though. That was so loud. Damn, look at that head face. Uh, let's see. Alright, boom. And we got uh, three new weapons. Of course, I choose again because we only have like five weapons or something. Well, oh, set seven weapons. But yeah, you get the idea. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more, definitely subscribe and like. If you want if you want to help in your tutorials or whatever definitely make sure to join our discord server you know we probably we provide a lot of help there so make sure you join that and most importantly like and subscribe for more and give us suggestions for whatever you want next and yeah hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one